capable performance and we're going to talk about it. So I'm going to turn it over a little bit.
So if, you, if, you, if people don't know what a record really is, it's, it's just a, it's just an audio file that's just spun all the way around, all the way into the into the center of the record. So it's like a spiral going all the way around it. So so um, for for any sample that's on the record, it can be broken down to a number of degrees. So. So it's like, I can track this record, I can track this sound right here. That, that, that sample is, um, can be represented by, by theta, which is, you know, the Greek um, representation of degrees, and, and say that's, you know, 60 degrees, and I can say that that's how long that sample is. So we take that basic idea, and we um, saying that you can, as you can see here, we have the fresh sample, and, and, here, in, th in this example, the fresh sample represents, uh, just happens to be 75 degrees. And that means it'll always be 75 degrees no matter how fast you're moving the, the table, no matter what's really happening. Uh, let me open this second page up. This is better. Um, so right here, we take theta and we graph that over time. Okay. So so what this means is that in, in standard you know musical notation, Western music, you know um, we tend to we, we tend to place um, we tend to place notes in, in bundles and 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 actually quantify them with a symbol and say this is a sixteenth note, this is this is you know eighth note, whatever. But with our system, we're 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 doing it more like like you have sequencing programs with computers and, and MIDI files and things like that where, where it's actually dealing with intervals of time rather than, uh, rather than an actual note. So, because that, the, the, the reason why, this is the main reason why scratching can't really be notated with, with standard Western music. You can, but you, there's, there's a million nuances to scratching that really can't be, um, and DJing in general, that really can't be described by, by standard Western music. So, <clears throat> so, the, the basic idea of, of what DJs are doing is they're they're cutting and pasting and they're manipulating sounds just like you're cutting and pasting the computer. So, um, <clears throat> so our notation represents scratching and DJing through through um, through inter using intervals of time as opposed to to, to bundles of time. So, <clears throat> so right here on the on the y axis we're graphing theta, and here on the x axis axis we're graphing time. Okay and um, this, these graphs here are actually from the system that I developed before I collaborated uh, with of my partners in the turntable transcription methodology. But, okay, in this example right here, you can see where I'm pointing to. I have uh, 90 degrees at the top right here. Let me, actually I can't zoom in. Um, I've got 90 degrees at the top right here and I've got zero degrees at the bottom. So this is the origin right here, kind of. And as you go to the right, you can see that this is, this is time. And as you go upwards, this is degree. So really, so really what it breaks down to is that, that scratching is, is, really, is really the, the, the change in degrees, the, <clears throat> the displacement of any particular point which you, which you um, start measuring from. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so right here, this is actually part of the booklet. And, and the booklet, we don't really go, go into a lot of mathematics behind it, um, which I'm going to do today, actually. Um, so right, right here, you can see that, right here, you can see that, that, okay, here we have this graph here, and this is the rotation of the record, you know, over the, over the time that takes, transpires. And, we use standard 4-4, but you don't, you, know, you don't have to. You can, you can divide this graph up into any number of time signatures, anything you want. But um, as a standard, um, we, just, we just put each, each, one of these, uh, each one of these blocks here represents 1 16th note. And you can see this, this is the end of this is a whole measure right here. 
and this is one beat, one measure, whole note. Can everybody see this? <clears throat> this, what, excuse me? Oh, zoom out. <clears throat> All right, yeah, this is kind of, it's kind of hard to see this, the thick black line is in this format, in this PDF format. But uh, yeah, so, so, so if you have this, uh, a record and it has a sample, uh, a sample on it, that, that degree, so let's say that we have fresh before that equal 75 degrees. So let's say um, the, when you play that sample, when you play fresh out, bass. well this is bass, let's use bass. Okay, and you play bass, bass out, let's say that just took, um, let's say that took exactly one beat. You would say that over that one beat, you would say that, that over, over one beat of time, this, this sample went however many degrees it is. So, okay, in this case we have fresh, we have the fresh sample, and in this case it's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We have it here as, as five increments, and, 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 we, and these increments aren't really labeled, you can label them however you want. Um, but let's just say these are, this is, uh, this is actually 50 degrees, so, so, so fresh is 50 degrees long, it's going five increments right here, and over time, right here, over time, if everybody can see where I'm moving, this is, the time's going this direction, over time it goes one, two, three, four, five, sixteenth notes, where, so I mean, that's, that's how long the, the sample is. So if you speed up the sample, it's going to, this, this is what will happen. If you speed up the record, like here it is at normal speed, right? Okay, and then we have for that for that um, sample to come out, we're, we're slowing down the speed of the sample, um, and the slope is going to change. The slope is going to become less steep, and the steeper it becomes, <clears throat> as you can as you can see right here, the steeper it becomes, the uh, the the less amount of time that the sample um, takes to transpire. So basically, so basically what it works out to, <clears throat> basically what it works out to is that any forward movement on the record in our, in our notation, any forward movement is, is anything that has a positive slope, anything that's, that's moving up. So in this example, um, it has a positive, fresh has a positive slope because, because it's going from, from the beginning of the sample and it's going to the end of the sample over time. Now if it's going from the end of the sample and, and it's going back uh, to the beginning of the sample over that same period of time, it'd have a negative slope right here because it's starting at the end of the sample because where, wherever you're, whatever point you're starting from, it's starting here at the end of the sample and it's, and it's going towards the, the beginning of it. So the slope is going to be um, it's going to be a negative slope, <clears throat> and and the same goes for the speed of it going backwards. So any 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 rotation that's that's forward, like the record going forward, base. This this will have a positive slope. So it'll just be a line that says base. I mean you don't have to write anything on it. Right here we we've just written fresh on the line just as an example. But but anything that's going forward, any any. Um, Clockwise rotation of the actually any counterclockwise, I mean clockwise rotation of the record is going to be a positive slope, and then conversely any backwards no, uh, rotation of the record is going to be a negative slope. So if I were to play the sample out over time and then hold it for for any given amount of time, there wouldn't be any slope, and it would just you just have a line that goes across um, for however long. Uh, amount of time that you actually hold it. As you can see in this example right here. So in this example, in this example, um, fresh is played a little bit and then, and then somebody holds it for, for, uh, for a period of time and then lets it go again and it plays out. <clears throat> and then, so that means, so, so basically positive slope going upwards, that's the record playing forward and then downwards is the record going backwards. And if it's if it's just a plan, if it has no slope at all, that means the record's just being held still. And and a completely vertical line like infinite slope, that's that's impossible really because because the record can't 
go, the director can't go a amount of distance in no time at all. So, <clears throat> so there's certain, so certain, this, you got your hand raised? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, the degrees are always going to be the same. The arc length is, is what you're talking about. The arc length of the, of the thing, of course, will always be changing as you, as you get in, into the record, but the degrees won't change. So, the, so and we don't, we, at first I thought of doing it like that, of using the arc length, but the arc length is, is, is always changing. Um, so it's actually, so you're just using the degrees, so the degrees aren't changing, but the, but the arc, actual arc length is changing. So, yeah, that, so you're, you're kind of right. But, but that's why we don't use the arc length, we use degrees. <clears throat> All right, and so that means normal, that means normal oscillation. If I'm going like this, just normal, oscill that's just, just normal oscillation, that can be represented by a sine wave or a cosine wave, just a, a wave in general because it's going back and forth. And <clears throat> let me show this one second. Does anybody have any questions while we're... of the past. I mean, you know, there's a lot of postmodernists, modernists, all types of composers that have been, you know, coming up with alternate systems of, 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 of notating music, and, and a lot of them have been based on using, actually using um, time as, uh, as, as a distance instead of just, you know, using, you know, a single note. And there's, you know, a lot of, you know, different notations, I mean, there's a whole myriad of different notations out there. So... Icons from the past to, to help to help it, I mean aesthetically and help things. Uh, Is there anything in particular that you can make for me now that you use? Oh no, I, I, I can once I get towards the end of, of what I'm doing, there'll be things that that look more similar. I mean just you know, um, I mean really, I mean just the, the 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 structure of the staff, you know, just so that things can be incorporated, so that. I mean, because really, what we're looking for and looking towards is for this to be incorporated into into technologies and computer technologies and, and notational systems to have you know turntables that you can scratch and 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 just like with MIDI sequencing programs, you'd be able to um, re record those things. So we we wanted to be able to integrate. I mean, we've designed it to look similar to Western things, so we can integrate it within Western music. I mean, because it's a part of Western music. So, but I mean, we devised this system completely ourselves. So it's not, so, I mean, it's really more of the aesthetic things and, and practical utility things and, and visual things that we, we look towards outside influences to, to, uh, to fashion this after. 
Okay. We'll put Actually, I can't seem to find this page, but uh, ah, here we go. Oh yeah, I'll get to all that. So right, I'm just gonna start off with, the, with basic mathematical things and how the system was devised, and then I'm gonna get to the actual techniques and things like that. Okay, so here's uh, so I'll, I'll start rushing kind of. Um, here, here, what we have right here is is. Like I was saying, if you're doing normal oscillation, you know, it, um, all scratches really are, are composed of just, are, are, can be represented by waves. Because if you didn't have, the, if without fader movements and without cutoffs and things like that, all scratches underneath, underlying all those scratches, whatever the DJ is doing, there's, there's, it's always going back and forth. And so there's just always going to be just waves of different periods or different, you know, amplitudes. Um, And so, so basically, um, the movement of, of the record can be categorized in three major three major types. Um, there's there's linear um, linear movement, exponential, and logarithmic. So so linear would just be you know um, is 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 best represented by just normal velocity in that. Bass, pump it up loud, fill the bass. Okay, so right now the record is 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 moving at a like when I just let it play like this, the record's moving at a at a at a constant speed. It's it's whatever whatever the speed is, it's it's moving at a constant speed. So you hear um you know you you'll hear a constant pitch if it's a constant noise because the you don't want to forget either that the turntable has infinite timbre because it can because being that it's pre-recorded music. You know, you, you can be manipulating any type of sample from, you know, from the, the highest frequencies, the lowest frequencies, to any type of noise with any type, any type of texture. But, so let's just say that the note, let's just say that this is a uh, constant pitch right here. Uh, um, when it moves at a, like we have in this example, when it moves at a, at a linear rate, it's going to have a, it's going to have the one-to-one -one ratio of the same noise. But if it moves, you know, at a, exponentially, like... That's I, I'm 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 the the speed my speed is increasing exponentially when I'm when I'm pushing on the record so it, so the so the the pitch is gonna is gonna do the same and the same with same with uh, like logarithmic and de deceleration um, it's gonna go. Okay, and it's the, the, the pitch is gonna is gonna go down, you know, um, at, at the same rate that that the speed is moving. Because really, um, with the turntable, the, um, with with things in general, the, the, the pitch of the actual turntable is the exact same as its speed, and and they're all um, they're all proportional to each other. <clears throat> okay, and if I'm, if it's going backwards, it's the same thing. You know, I can do, go backwards at a constant rate. <laughs> And then at an exponential rate, and then at a um, logarithmic rate, and go like that. But uh, and so all three of those make different noises. But really, without the fader, so what I'm trying to explain is that really without the fader, all those noises, this is it, they're all just different different waves of of, of different of different sizes, and. And all those waves can be broken down into an S curve. Like those, those, th those three types of basic scratches that I just explained to you that are up there can all are all compose um, the S curve. 
right here. And as you see, the bottom of the S curve is is uh, is acceleration, and you can see that it's it's exponential growth at the the very bottom of the of the movement. At the very beginning of the movement, it's exponential, and as it's in in the middle point of going like you're going back and forth. At its middle point, it's it's somewhere near constant because when you're scratching, you can never really have um, a perfect constant, a constant pitch or a constant movement because because only a machine can do that, and and you'll never be able to perfectly move it at an exact one-to-one -one ratio. So it's just going to be near constant growth, and <clears throat> and at the at the very top of the S curve, you can see that it's at, that's decelerating because you're about to come on your your um, the DJ is about to start his backwards movement. So, so like this S curve would look like this. What? I mean, it would sound like this. So, so, so and then if you do the, this same S curve and you, and you flipped it over and did it backwards, it would just be, and then backwards would be. So, so that and that completes the, a, a cycle of a, of a basic scratch. So, so really, it's it's all scratches can be broken down in the ways it can be broken down in these three major parts. And when people use the fader, what they're doing is they're they're cutting off a, um, a certain portion of this so that you only hear which one you want to hear. Like when I was um, giving you all the example of the exponential and the logarithmic and all those other things at first, I was cutting off all all the other t the other two. So that you couldn't hear it, and that's what so that's what the faders used for. So when you hear me just go like, there, there were there were the other the other types of scratches were were there, but they were hidden from the from the viewer because because if there wasn't a fader, it would just you know all sound like this. So so what the view so what the fader is doing really is is masking um, either. All of those, all of those elements, or one of them, or two of them, or, or three of them, and 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 you know, and from that, you know, there's a million scratches that can be made. So and so now I like to talk about the fader. Really, the fader. Um, there's 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 two major types of faders, and and what what faders do, like I've just explained, is serve to cut off these sounds. You know, selectively cut off the sounds that you don't want the audience to hear and the, and the ones that you do want them to hear. And the, the three types of faders, I mean the two types of faders basically are basically instantaneous faders and then faders that are more gradual, that have more gradual um, cutoff rates. So um, the first, the most commonly used type of fader is the, is the cross fader. And the, the cross fader, it's 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 very close to being, um, you know, uh, nearly instantaneous cutoff. But 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 the the way that it tapers the sound is is it, it has it has a curve to it so that you don't hear a clipping. And like if you're if you if you know anything about cutting samples or anything like that, um, if you cut it off um, too abruptly, the the sound will um, will have a click to it. And and the reason that it doesn't happen with the crossfader is because it has because it doesn't um, when the DJ when the DJ turns this on the switch on it doesn't just cut on automatically it, it the volume um, increases just a little bit it increases increases gradually but with the transformer switch it actually does do that actually instantaneously it's a it's an on and off it's an on and off cut like. The, 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 it's a much sharper cut. So, so really, what I'm trying to explain is all these different faders and different switches. They all have have different um, different sounds. So, like, I'll, I'll do a scratch with with uh, the cross fader right here. Um, okay, and and it has that sound, but I'll do that same scratch. And, and since I was using, uh, it might not have sounded different to you all, but since I was using a different fader, like um, different faders have different rates of, of, of ratios of, of change in volume um, um, relative to, uh, to how far you move it. So they just have different rates of cutoff. And, and DJs use, you know, treble knobs and 
bass switches and all, and all those things are involved in the notation too because in, any type of switch whether it's an effect or whether it's whether it's um, um, any type of transition over time is is, is notated okay and this and this right here is just the point of inflection that's just where 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 the essential um, elements of the scratch, like the three essential ones that I talked about before, where they change. <clears throat> Does anybody have any questions? Okay. Uh, excuse me. Do I think more complex notes? Um, okay, one second. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the booklet. Okay, so like this example, right? This example right here. This is an example in the booklet. It's, it's. You can see that the, the wave is oscillating back and forth, and then the line just goes straight. So that would sound like this. It would be like because it's, it's going back and forth. It's oscillating back and forth like this, and then it's being let go, and you can see that the line carries out. 